Then we see this deep crosser coming across the field. So we're gonna act like we're going with that deep cross. We're gonna fully commit to that. Then as soon as I see the quarterback start to pull his arm back, guys, now we are gonna bait him into the throw. We're leaving that player wide open and now we just step right in front and go the other way. Say about me, my dogs like to play Madden in 2K, but one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South. What is going on, YouTube King Reggie? We are back today. I'm going to be bringing you guys my top five tips on how to have a better user in Madden 21. Now, these tips, guys, are really going to help you just bring your user game to the next level. And I'm going to have real gameplay footage of me using all these techniques online in weekend league in real games, and I'm going to show you all this stuff is actually going to work. And this is really gonna help you improve your user. Now, before we get into that, guys, I'm gonna leave a few links in the description. I'm gonna leave my TikTok and Twitter. Definitely go follow me on those. I'm gonna leave a link to my Discord server. Definitely go join that, guys. I'm gonna make a really cool community in there. And then I'm also gonna leave a link to my last two defenses that I have put out. It's gonna be basically my full defensive ebooks. I'll leave links in the description for that. If you like what you see here and you wanna go check out those, those will be down in the description. So let's get into the first tip, guys. The first tip is how to pick the right user. All right, guys, so that sounds pretty basic, but this is honestly probably the most important tip I can give you is picking the right user. So we're gonna go over Mutt first and then we'll get into talking about Reg. So in Mutt, guys, right now I'm using DK Metcalf. So whenever I'm picking my user, I'm looking for four different attributes in Mutt. Most of the time I'm looking for a safety, because then I don't have to put abilities on them if I don't want to because they will still be able to jump up for interceptions where linebackers won't unless we put an ability on them. Then I am looking for height, speed, and change of direction. So looking at DK Metcalf, he's 99 speed, maxed out. He's 6'3". I'm always looking for at least 6'2", 6'3", and above. And then change your direction, he is at 88, which is pretty good. But out of all the attributes I just went over, that is the one I care about the least. And I will be going over a reason for that in a little bit. And then in Mutt, guys, I am always going to throw Acrobat on my user. That's going to allow us to get diving swats and interceptions. It's going to add more range to our user and let us make more athletic plays on the ball. And then if we are using a linebacker, guys, you can use her one. I would put Lurker on that player. It's one AP and it's going to allow you once again to make diving diving plays for the football and it's really going to help you use a linebacker if you want it. And then as far as playing regs guys obviously we're looking for very similar attributes you're not really going to be able to get acrobat on any of these players. The only safety I found with acrobat on them is Jesse Bates for the Bengals and then someone I would really target in regs guys is someone like Derwin James. He's 89 overall. He has 90 speed which for regs is very good. He's 6 foot 2 and then his change of direction is 87. So that is someone I would definitely target in regs if you're using a safety. All right, guys, and the last part about picking the right user is actually something we can do pre-snap. So what we always wanna do, guys, is we wanna have our user in a blitz before our opponent snaps the ball. What this is gonna do, guys, this is gonna give our user better change of direction. It's really gonna make us more athletic and enable us to make more plays around the field. So right here, guys, our player, our user is in a hook curl. So if we snap the ball here, guys, look at him changing direction. He has to stop and start. It's just not very smooth and it's pretty choppy. Now, if we put him in a blitz, guys, before we snap the ball, snap the ball here, he is much faster and he's able to travel around the field at a much quicker pace and you're able to, gonna be able to make plays all over the field. So yeah, guys, always make sure our user is in a blitz before they snap the ball. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go down on the field. I'm gonna have real gameplay footage. I'm gonna show you the techniques I use to really make a ton of plays as a user. All right, guys, so the first technique we are are going over is shooting the gap in the run game. So the first one will be the run game and then the next ones will be the pass. So this is really important if we're trying to play the run guys is we want to be able to shoot in the backfield and make a ton of plays, you know, stopping the run behind the line of scrimmage. This is the best play to, way to play run defense in Madden. And it's really about having great timing as your user and really just being aggressive and getting in the backfield. So right here, guys, here's my user. I'm kind of tucked in behind my D tackles, really letting them soak up blocks and then I'm gonna come off them and get in the backfield. So right here, guys, snap the ball. And right here, guys, I'm following the running back. When I see them all shoot to the right, now I'm gonna, you know, mirror them, go to the right, and I'm just looking for a gap. So here's their guard getting up to the next level. I'm just gonna shoot off his butt, shoot past the fullback, fire in the backfield on this stretch, and tackle him for like a four yard loss. Same thing, guys, right here, kind of hiding in behind the D tackles here and we're just kind of mirroring the running back. So when I see him take some steps forward, I'm going to take some steps forward. He has a pulling guard. 
If I ever see pullers, guys, I want to come in behind them, shoot right off his butt, shoot that A gap, and then we get him in the backfield for another like two yard loss. Okay, one more time, guys, right here behind our D tackle, we see a stretch to the left, and look at this massive hole. So that as a running back, you see a massive hole, you want to hit it. Now as the user, guys, it's the exact same thing. We want to read the holes like a running back, hit this hole, fire in the backfield, and make a huge play on the running back in the backfield. All right, guys, and then our next three tips are really all going to be techniques we can use in the pass game to really get a lot of picks and make a ton of plays as our user. So the first one is called the lurk. Now, the big key with this, guys, is we want to kind of start low, I like to come towards the line of scrimmage and play underneath routes and use my ability as a user to jump up and make, you know, high point catches in the middle of the field. So really the technique here, guys, is we want to come un down a little bit, stay in the middle of the field, and then get up underneath routes as they go downfield. So that is how I play the lurk, guys, right here. He tries to seam ball. We start low and then we play underneath this player as he gets vertical right here, guys. End of the fourth quarter, he's trying to drive and we get a huge user pick with Derwin James. Okay, same thing, guys. Once again, a lurk. So on, whenever we're lurking, I like to either take a few steps down or just stay in the middle of the field and try to undercut ruts, routes as they get vertical up fields. So right here, guys, we're using DK Metcalf. Staying in the middle of the field, staying in the middle of the field. Then I see this wheel out of the backfield, guys, and we want to undercut that use our ability to high point the football get big jump up and make a play on the ball so you can see on that one guys we're starting in the middle of the field i'm taking one or two steps in then i'm trying to get up and high point the football okay same thing guys right here one or two steps in we're trying to stay low on this guys then we see a deep crosser getting vertical once again high point play underneath the football go up, make a really athletic play with our user. All right, guys, the next technique is going to be called the bait. Now, this is probably the toughest one to pull off. It's going to take the most practice. It's going to take you really having a really good user. But when you pull it off, you are just going to feel absolutely amazing. So the big keys with this one, guys, is we are actually going to be leaving someone open in the middle of the field. I really like it on hook routes in the middle of the field. We're going to leave a hook open. We're going to act like we're going to cover a different route than when we see the quarterback commit to that throw. And we're going to turn around and just step right in front and take it the other way. Another really big key with this one, guys, is really getting your opponent's tendencies down. So if we see they're really going to a play over and over, then we can bait them, make them think that route is going to be open, then step back in front. All right, guys, so we're using Derwin in the middle of the field. And right here, we see this hook route in the middle of the field, guys. So right here, now I am purposely going to leave this open. So we run into it. Then we see this deep crosser coming across the field. So we're going to act like we're going with that deep cross. We're going to fully commit to that. Then as soon as I see the quarterback start to pull his arm back, guys, now we are going to bait him into the throw. We're leaving that player wide open. And now we just step right in front and go the other way. When you pull this off, guys, it just feels absolutely amazing. We're almost able to get pick six here, tackled at the two yard line. Now this player had been running hooks a lot on third down on his big money downs. He'd been running hooks right here, guys. Third quarter, 50 seconds left. We see backside hook. He's able to fire that in, get down really easy completion. So that's third quarter, 50 seconds. So now file that away. This is where I'm talking about tendencies, guys. I see him running a hook. So now I know, okay, a next big money down, he's probably going to go to a hook again. So right here, guys, that was 50 seconds left in the half. Here's 40 seconds later, second and two, you know, driving to try to tie the game. Right here, we get in the middle of the field, and once again, we see hooks in the middle of the field, guys. We leave this one wide open, and then as soon as I see him cock his arm back and pull, we're baiting that throw in. We get an absolutely beautiful diving, baiting interception. So that is really the technique, guys. Understand tendencies on what your opponent is going to do. Leave someone in the open in the middle of the field. When you see them commit, then we are going to come make a play. All right, guys. And then the next technique I like to call the click in. Now, I never use a spy when I'm playing defense. I'm going to allow my zone coverage to, you know, help when the running back leaves the pocket. And the way I do that, guys, is when I see the QB leave the pocket, I'm going to click my right stick in. That is going to send the nearest defender out of his zone, and he's going to attack the quarterback and you know, really just try to make a play on him. So we are gonna use that ability 
and then we are going to replace the player we send on the blitz and we are going to you know take his responsibilities and then i get a ton of user interceptions with this technique guys snap the ball guys dak prescott is going to roll right here right here guys i click my right stick in click your right stick in that is going to send this player he's coming full board at the quarterback now I see this player, he's the flat defender is wide open. So now is the user, we are gonna click in and then replace this player. He's, you know, getting pressure. So he's gonna, you know, hurry his process. He's gonna force this ball in. Our user just steps right in front. We have lead blockers out in front. We're able to make a really nice user alert. Okay, same thing guys. Dak Prescott again, same player. He's gonna roll to the right here. You are zone coverage in the flats and we're gonna click our right stick in and now we're gonna replace. So the zone coverage, the flat coverage is leaving. It's going towards the quarterback. We're just gonna replace him guys. He tries to playmaker in, replacing coverage. And now we step in front and get another user pick with Derwin James going the other way for a pick six this time. One more time guys, snap the ball right here. Alex Smith this time, so he's scrambling. We're playing pretty deep as the user, but that is fine. We're gonna come towards the ball. I'm gonna click my right stick in. He's gonna think, you know, flat defender's coming. I gotta get it, the ball out of my hands. Step right in front, and this is about as clean as a user pick as you are gonna get absolutely untouched for a pick six all right guys now tip number five is actually going to be bringing the blitz now this is just a general bring whatever blitz you want but working in blitzes is really going to speed up the process of your opponent and really just force them into mistakes so when we bring the blitz we are just really enabling our user to take quick reads in the middle of the field and step in front and make plays straight here guys it's the second quarter three minutes and four seconds left third and six so we're going to bring a blitz we're going to get in the backfield and make a really you know quick play really quick sack throw him to the ground so this is the second quarter like i said three minutes left now this guy's going to hurry to the ball fourth down fourth and 13 so i'm gonna bring the same blitz i'm gonna force this guy to make a really quick read he wasn't able to block the blitz last time so let's see if he can block it this time so right here we do we set up our blitz right here we bring in the blitz he's able to block it up but now i know i'm bringing a blitz we got a sack the last time so now the opponent is really going to be speeding up his process he's going to be a little antsy in the pocket and we can force him into some bad reads so right here guys the seam looks open he feels the pressure he's going to speed up his process and then as the user this is kind of a lurk we get underneath that ball high point it get up and make a really nice play okay same thing guys bringing a blitz off the left side here so right here, I like to loop underneath. He feels the pressure coming. When they see a blitz, guys, they are automatically gonna try to get the ball out of their hands really quick. So now as the user, guys, we're just patrolling in the middle of the field and looking for whoever we see get open right away. So right here, we see two guys coming into the middle of the field. So I'm just taking the deeper one, have Acrobat on this player, get an absolutely gorgeous diving lurk in the middle of the field. So use that blitz to really speed up your opponent's process, guys, and force them into error all right guys and now we just have a bonus tip this is going to be working in some user rushes now i'm going to leave some links in the description as well guys for the two user rushes i've released so far in madden 21 now this is just a fun way to really keep your opponent on their toes and use your user to really get in the backfield once again and make some plays so here's our user rush guys once again links will be down in the description for this blitz so we have it set up guys and we're just going to loop into the middle of the field and just fire in get in there super quick, force a fumble, and you know, just make a really quick sack on the quarterback. Here's one more guys, Derwin James, same blitz right here. We're gonna delay, loop into the middle of the field, get in the backfield, get a really quick pressure on the quarterback. He's gonna throw a duck up and then our zone coverage in the middle of the field is able to get a pick. Now this is just a really fun way to use your user, use their speed, and just get a little more creative on offense and cause some havoc. All right guys, that is it. That is my top five tips for having a better user. Once again, go check the links in the description, guys. Go follow me on TikTok and Twitter. Go join my Discord server. Check all the links for the defenses and the user rushes down in the description below. And if you guys are new and you liked what you've seen today, definitely sub to the channel and you know leave a like on this video. So that is it, guys. Top five user tips. My name is King Reggie and I'm out.